Okay, so what's up everybody, Super Sound Sum 13 here. Last time we completed Special World 3 with Luigi, this time I'm going to be moving on to Special World 4. My voice is going to be a bit out there again. I'm not really losing my voice or anything, I don't even know how that happens to people, but... Nah, it's just more like I've been under very intense gameplay, and then I'm going to this game, which is really, really bland. <laughs> I've been working on playing Shovel Knight to be honest and that is really awesome. I've been playing it on and off some but I just came out of a session of that. Uh, it took like maybe an hour longer than I thought it would to beat that one stage. <laughs> no, it's the next to last level. Or whatever. The Tower of Fate Ascent. And that game is really good so far. So don't go by this game, go by Shovel Knight. Pro tip. Ouch. Oh, Shoot. Um. I'm restarting actually. Uh, I can't deal with that kind of loss. I need all the tanuki I can get. Especially for this level. This level's pretty... It's, it's a completely unique special world level. I'll give it that. But it's a clock level. And yeah, I hate the clock levels that are in this game. Because they just have the worst music. I get that it's some sort of remix. I mean... But it's a crappy remix, in my opinion. And then the stages themselves are just so bland. Like, I mean, come on. What is this? Look at this blandness. No. We should probably go stay over here where it's safer. Then instead of wandering around in the middle of the platform, in circles where we're gonna get hit. Yeah, pro tip again. I'm not used to pressing the A button now, so I'm just going to press the B button. Hmm. Quadruple stomp. What is that noise? I remember not to turn around because it'll probably make me die on here. So I'll do some stupid while I'm turning around to check. I'll probably end up turning around if I hear anything else, anyways. Hmm. The stupid medallion hitting against the door. Or if it's some sort of evil spirit and it's testing me by hitting it, making sure that I'm not going to turn around again. Yes, I know, Spirit, I'm recording. Uh, wait a little bit. Wait till I'm done and we can have a conference without having to worry about recording stuff. Alright, you guys are pretty bad. Shoot! Yes, I know I'm trying to go to the home. Okay, so this might take uh, just as long as yesterday's, if not longer, because this first stage is like the worst stage ever. Like, I'm not even joking, this may or may not be my least favorite. No, 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 no. This is my most... Eh. This is the blandest stage in the game, I'd like to say. Pretty much. Like, what is this garbage? Hmm. Oh, come on. This is a stupid, stupid level. I, I am not in the mood to play this game today at all. Just want to skip straight to Zelda and Donkey Kong, I guess. But I'm limiting myself already as to how much I play. The minimum is one episode a day, though. I cannot do more than one. I cannot do less than one. Because doing zero episodes a day would not go very... We wouldn't be doing episodes quite as quickly if we did zero episodes a day. Because, yeah. It would take a, quite a bit longer to actually do videos. 
Um, I keep trying to line up all these floorboards and stuff. That's what I do in real life whenever I'm like walking in a store or whatever. I get so bored that I just like line up the floorboards with my feet or turn it into some sort of space game where I gotta not touch the black panels or whatever. Stuff like that. I'm doing it here because this is how boring this place is because that's what I do in real life when I'm really, really bored inside a store. And I'm really, really bored right here, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, here, let's go on this one. Wait a minute. Hmm. Shoot! Oh! Man, I hate this level. No, it's really like real life. I'm not even a squirrel. Shoot. Or a fox. Are you going somewhere, Poison Mushroom? Because you're kind of getting on my nerves. And the way that I can't talk is also kind of getting on my nerves. We're going to try to keep this Poison Mushroom to the end. Okay. Never mind. Also, quick update. Taking out our Tanuki because this next part could get a little bit dangerous. I know there's comics, or Matakupas as they're called in the 2D games. Because Kamek is officially kind of like a character. And then just the regular boring ones are called Matakupas. Which is a really cool name though, Matakupa? I mean, come on. And the Word combining slash punning is real. Real, not real. <laughs> oh, come on. Gosh dang it, I hate this level so much. Alright, there's only one place to stand in the middle of. <sighs> Go away from that level. I managed to get a golden flagpole on this level? How? Dude, this level... <laughs> Get out the way, even the ending is annoying. Oh my gosh, I never want to do that level again. And I don't think I'm going to have to now, that's my last time going through the levels. So that's the good thing about Luigi Run, I can finally just say goodbye to all these levels, and that's not a good thing, I'm just like, see you later person, never have to talk to you again. Yeah, that kind of goodbye to these levels. Now we have to go by Special World 1-1! Just for this level, and 1-1 especially, Nintendo should put this little count for how many times the level's been played, because I'm pretty sure they know how much everybody's going to go back to these levels, because they do a horrible job of keeping people stocked up on items on levels. Shut up, music. You're terrible. I actually really, really hate this music, to be honest. Not quite as much as 3D World's main theme, to where it's like... or whatever it is. Like, I don't like this, I like this theme a little bit better, or I don't like it as much. Or I don't dislike it as much as that theme, but... This theme is still really boring. And whenever I hear it now, it is, I just kind of groan. Because, yeah. And then, oh yeah, and then they have the remix in the clock place, and it's even worse. Just like the most boring tune ever. Clear time 57. Apparently, our best time is 44. Then my rival 33, which is me. Alright, so special world 4. Just gonna go ahead and tap to avoid taking too long. Great, straight from there to a boo house. This is gonna shape up to be a wonderful world. Although, I have to admit, world 4 has like my favorite uh, actual overworld map tune. I'm like the map screen for this one has the best tune, in my opinion. Like, it's my favorite anyways. Alright, so here's a Shadow Mario one. So it's not only a Boo Mansion, but a Shadow Mario. And this place isn't that bad, to be honest. It's not, like, 3D Mario Boo places. You think since there's more opportunity with 3D games than 2D games that they would be more difficult, but no, the 2D games are just more difficult and annoying. 3D ghost places are actually pretty cool sometimes. This game, they're okay. I don't exactly dislike any of them too badly, but they're not some of my favorites. Like, Galaxy, I believe, though, they they weren't even, you know, like, boo houses, because this is a 2D game. Like, this is really just a 2D game in 3D. There's, like, two 2D Mario games on here, New Super Mario Bros. 2, and then this. 
Same for the Wii U then, in that case. It's called 3D, but it just feels like a 2D game so much. Not even joking. Don't let anybody tell you this is a 3D game. It's a 2D game. But yeah, like I was saying, like, Galaxies wasn't even that because it was a 3D game. And 3D boo places are really cool. And they're not all just the same stupid looking boo house. Like, literally, the majority of these, like, icons on the map got overused, like, quite a few times. Oh, take a moment to listen to this music. Yes, I like it. I'm pretty sure I did that last time I came to this world, too. Or something like that, but still. Alright. Good job, Luigi. Don't become stoner just yet. Whatever that means. So it appears that we are on the bulleting stage. This is really a 2D stage. Man, it could not get any more 2D like if it tried without going into an actual plain old 2D game. It's just a 3D game. It's a 2D game in 3D. Okay, so that level was not any trouble. I thought that these videos would be going by a lot faster, but some of these levels just force you to be slow as heck, so. There we go, we finished that one like with about under a minute, so that's good. Alright, 52 seconds, yeah. It is cool how they kind of tell you what time you have, though. It does allow for a little bit of speedrunning stuff, but there's no actual leaderboards, really, except for people we've met. So my best time, 80. Rival's best time, 39. Which is my other me, because I don't really have any other rivals, because nobody really plays this. Or gets good at it, apparently. I am my own rival. The only thing I have to go up against is myself on this game. Uh... Oh yeah, this one, uh, you smack the things and get time. It makes sense, I guess. Alright. Go, Luigi Noid. It's your birthday. Not really. You don't have a birthday. Alright. I don't know how that one person in the Super Play video did it with a regular long jump without doing anything else. Oh, dude, we didn't have a golden flagpole before. Good thing I actually went for the top of the flagpole. Alright. The timer up there is like, go faster! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Ooh, a blue level. These are nice. I believe the next airship, though, is actually kind of annoying. The next airship's gonna be our main threat as far as airships go. See, look at this. It's all boo like with a really cool looking uh, background, like the yarn stitch stuff, and then there's dry bones and booze everywhere. This, this level right here is probably like. Or this. Here, wait a sec. Dude, I was pressing the button! Alright, well now I'm gonna have to close out of it anyways, it seems, because I was trying to adjust something. Oh my gosh, dude, the button does not work anymore. Okay, that was really, really stupid and annoying. I'm just trying to fix something. But this level design right here, this level concept might be my favorite in the game. I don't really call it level itself because most of the levels are reused at least a couple times. So really, they, all of the levels lose their originality and I just call them uh, level types or whatever I called it a second ago. Level layouts. This layout's uh, my favorite though, I'd have to say, because it's got, like I said, the really, really cool background, in my opinion, and then the booze. The cookie cutter booze. I'm not sure if that's what they're actually called, but oh well. And then dry bones, of course. I mean, this is so cool. It's like a boo place without actually being annoying. See, this is sort of original, although it's still 2D and flat with no curved surfaces at all in the game. There's literally no, like, hills or anything in the game. There's, like, directly diagonal surfaces, but for the most part, this game is, like, completely flat. So, you know. There's no round objects. Or round level features. Unless you want to count the booze. But those are not exactly touchable. Unless you want to get hurt and not stand on them. There we go. If they just made this game a lot more like Galaxy, it would have been ten times as better. 
That's just a key to how to improve any 2D Mario game. Make it 3D and make it like Galaxy. I'm sure I'll get plenty of people disagreeing with me on that one, but you know what? Just whatever. Special World 4 Dash Airship. This place. We even get the ugly pink cloud, second least favorite color. Let's go for it. I've never really known of a time other than like, you know, of course, like hyper pink or whatever that's actually looked good. So let's be honest, if you like make a neon version of any color, it looks good. Or a space version of any color. But other than that, as far as actual regular colors go, I've never seen a good looking pink. Most of them are just horribly ugly and remind me of like fat year old, five year old girls. And I'm like, pink, no. Just no pink. Hey, 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 kid. Do you own this airship? Because the, the sky is just horrible, okay? Go put it in one of those stormy areas. No. No. Oh, no. Shoot. Freaking level. Come on, this last level I have to do now. I'm a little bit late on the recording, like I said earlier, so it's like already midnight. Usually by now I'd be done with like Zelda or something. But we have to go through 3D land still, and then uh, I'm pressing the B button. Why can't I go? You have to choose A button. Wow, how unoriginal. Oh no, and then I pressed the B button instead again, and then it sent me back. Man, this game allows for no flexibility. If I want to press the B button, I can only do it on the world map. Alright, Special World 4, we're almost done with Special World 4 for Infinity and Beyond, so we have this level. It's definitely one of the more annoying airships, but there's not too many left anyways, so you know. And like I said, most of the levels are just a recopy of each other, and that's like, the bosses are the worst, because literally there's only like two or three bosses of each kind. There's like two or three different airship levels, and two or three different castles. And they reuse them like 57 times, and that's that's actually the main thing that I hate about this game, is that every level is not original. Fury World was also kind of bad about that, but at least it was cool when they remade them. These, most of them just suck. Most of them they just like made look less professional and just spammed a little bit more enemies and stuff. So... <laughs> this is just bad. I, like, literally I would love it if the game was short, like only eight worlds. If there were literally only eight worlds and no repeat levels and then maybe one special world with the few original levels that they have in here. I would love that so much more. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I would just love this game if it was like that. I want to get my hands on a ROM of this game and edit it to where it's only 8 worlds and only the original levels. And then maybe a special world 1 and then everything else is just, like, deleted. Oh my gosh. I want to do that. I would love this game. I hate the way that they just spam the levels repeatedly. And, like, made the worst modifications ever. Like, it does make it more longer which is in really good for a game that's more interesting but this game isn't really that good in the first place it's a mario game a 2d mario game and yes i know it's technically 3d but i consider it a 2d mario game i've just been realizing that so much recently oh yeah so this is what we're doing right now we're facing off against these people yeah this is like the worst airship of them all because we have to face off against both of them not even at the same time sup I'm just gonna hop on her sometimes and keep hopping. Of course, I always. The last part, this person. Get out the way! Just die, okay? Just go away. Ugh, see how ugly pink is? If you like pink, then you look like that person. Leave it at that. Alright. We're going to make the most epic jump ever. <laughs> Come on, level. The depth perception is really screwy here. Did it. It's really weird right there, too. It's kind of cool, though. They like put you on one end, and then you have to go around the other way. Unless you have a cat, but those aren't in this game. For some reason. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> For some reason. There's <laughs> like, going to be some people who like, come to this game from 3D World. They're going to be like, where's the cat, man? Uh, yeah, let's see. So, best time. Uh, I don't know why I keep looking at those. They're just so eye-attracting. Okay, so next time we'll be moving on to Special World 5. It has 5 in the name. And in this game, that's a bad thing, because regular World 5 is the worst thing ever. But I think Special World 5 is actually okay, and it starts out with another cool Boo and Dry Bones level. So, look forward to that. Only, like, 5 episodes left. 4 if I decide to package in Flagpole with the 8th World. Special 8. 
but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. See you in the next one. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed somehow, and stay fancy.